They've been up here getting the uh, Japanese beetles. Here they come back. Whoop, they found another bug. So they're eating those Japanese beetles. Welcome to the Vista Acres Homestead Channel. Look there. Y'all, that is why I've got guineas. Yeah. And those those two right there is probably my best ones. That's a pair. It's a male and a female. And they they hang away from the other ones. And, and they're eating they're eating those. Japanese beetles. The beetles got to get busy with leaves on the grapes. Yeah, uh, yeah they're, they're looking up there. They're getting them. They, they have found, they'll keep coming back with the guineas well. They're eating bugs. Just park here at the dumpster. All right, y'all, we're going out here. I'm going to show you the guineas. Uh, Maggie found them last night. I thought at first she'd found a snake because she jumped back. I think they scared her. And, yeah, and uh, I thought, like I said, it was a snake way she jumped back, but it was guineas, and both of them were sitting on the nest. I found that interesting. All right. So we're gonna go look again at with Maggie. I guarantee you, I'm surprised Maggie don't hit straight over there. She don't forget nothing when it comes to her birds. Yeah. Yep, there she goes. Watch her, watch her. See, right there, go straight to it. Maggie, don't bother them. Don't bother them. Right there they are, y'all. Now one of them, huh? No, it's just one of them on the nest right now. I don't know where the other one's at. I might have to come back out late this evening and man, she has a bunch of eggs. A bunch, but last night, uh, both of them were sitting on the nest last night and they may do that at night. Yep. All right, y'all. Yeah, we're not going to incubate those. We'll let that go the way it goes. All right, come on, Maggie. Let's go. They're good. All right, y'all. This is some video of the guineas. I went outside and did a little bit of video on it. And here's a little bit of video of the baby guineas. Uh, these, you know, they're actually cute when they're little. Um, you know, they're actually cute when they're that size. And uh, there's four of them that we've got left. We, had, I've gave away uh, probably about six of them to a friend of mine. And uh, so, yeah, they're actually cute when they're little. Now, the guinea, one fact about the guinea is it is a African bird. And it is 
definitely not a domestic bird. They, they're very, uh, as you would say with cats, they're very feral. They, they're, they're not tamed at all. Uh, although mine seem to be used to me, uh, I can go out and they don't, they don't get uh, where they run. Do you see how close I get to them here? They, they're pretty comfortable with me. Um, and they will come when I call them. Um, I'll call them like a cat. You call them up like a cat. If I call them a cat, it's a guineas, uh, typically come running. But uh, yeah, they're, the pros on the guineas, and I, I looked this up and some other people said the same thing. If you're gonna have guineas on a homestead, I wouldn't recommend more than three of them, four at the most. Uh, also, I would highly recommend that you get them young at, you know, babies and raise them up on homestead. I, you get a grown guinea, it's just not gonna stay there. It, it's gonna run off and it's gonna go other places and it's gonna be problems. So uh, you definitely wanna get a guinea that's a baby, raise it up on your homestead, raise it up with some baby chicks. Uh, I've had good luck doing that, raising them up with baby chicks and uh, they've, they've done good uh, doing that also. Uh, they do eat the bugs. The other downside of them is, is they make a lot of noise. Um, but I have noticed with fewer of them is a lot less, they're not as noisy, uh, but they will let you know if somebody comes around. They'll, they'll go to making a big old racket if somebody strange comes around or, or some kind of animal comes around or, or if hawks, if they see hawks, they, they'll, they'll make a lot of noise. So uh, yeah, they're, to me, they're a really good bird to have on a homestead. If you know, if you're gonna have a homestead, I, I would recommend guineas, and but I wouldn't recommend more than three or four. Now, if you get babies, you probably gonna need to get five or six to end up with three or four. Uh, but you get too many, like I've got now. Well, I had as many as 18, and I've had three or four get out there in the road and get hit. Uh, so. You don't want to get too many of them, but they are great birds. They do a really good job of eating bugs and, and keeping the place cleaned up. It's dedicated to the guineas. That's what we was uh, showing y'all. And uh, for, on this Thursday it was the guineas and a little bit about the guineas. And I think you can tell by this video why we've got guineas. Hey, y'all again, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that like button, hit that notification button. And again, y'all, we really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. Maggie, Maggie what are not, you doing? You're not biting tires. Maggie, get up there. Just go out there to where the dumpster is. I'm going to put that at the end before I forget. Now, uh,